I sent a message last night to my friend Isa Tula, who's stuck in that deteriorating detention center. He's a kickboxer who's been there for 1,700 days. And I was asking him whether it would not make more sense to uh, act from a position of somewhat more strength by sending a delegation to look at these uh, new facilities that are supposedly being provided. He absolutely rejects that. They are prepared to stay there, I think, until they die in this detention center that's being pulled down around them. And that's because they have absolutely no faith that either the PNG authorities or the Australian authorities are acting in their best interests. They just don't believe that. They just believe that they're going to be warehoused again and they'll be out of sight and out of mind for us. Listen to the firmness and desperation in his voice as he explains how they see it. Make, uh, the main thing, uh, we don't want to go there, the new facilities and the new accommodation. We want justice and our freedom in a safe country. That area is not for, safe for us. That area is, there is living all the drunk people and local people where they are, don't have anything. They are, many people they beat us there and many people they robbed our friends and they stole them mobile. We are just scaring from these people. And this is four years, four and a half years, and they are still torturing us. If we go there and they will torture us more, like same in this detention center from last four years. We just need in a safe country. We don't want to go there. Today, police came, they throw our stored water in the rainwater and they uh, remove some more fences from all the camps and, and they said, go, go outside. We said, we don't want to go. We didn't come for PNG. We need safety. They said, no, go. This is PNG responsibility. We just need the truth. We just need the freedom. And PNG don't want settle us in PNG. They just wasting our time in Manus Island. And if we go there, they will again same process, same thing, same security, no treatment, nothing. They will do that. That's why we said we need the freedom, and we don't need the PNG. Because PNG working under Australia. Mr. Dutton, did you come to one time, only one time, to visit us? How is your situation? He didn't come. And Tom, uh, Michael Tumble, he didn't come to ask us. He didn't visit. Just only one day they spend us. They will understand. We are human beings. We are lovers, people. But this situation is not good for us. <laughs> The word at the rally I was at last night is that the Prime Minister's office and Dutton's office are being inundated by phone calls, which is great. It's very easy to ring. Here's the numbers on the screen. You get a polite reply. You don't have to give details. Please do it now.